Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Don't Starve On Your Lonesome. And it's day 34. It's still, if you look at the thermometer at the, on the screen here, still very, very, very cold. Which is unfortunate, but we are still struggling through and doing pretty well at it by the looks of things. So we are well, it's a stack and a quarter of dried food. Oh, those, those petals are starting to wear out which is a bit disappointing I'd love to find another petal um, but we've got plenty of things to do before we uh, rest for the night and the f one of them is I was looking at this um, pigskin and thinking about what we could do with it and uh, the obvious first one is we will make ourselves a pigskin helmet which is just more armor so to do that we're going to need to make some rope and that's going to eat into believe it or not we are down to just 20 cut grass just shows you how important grass is as a resource in this game and that should give us football helmets there we go and then, oh we're not close enough to the alchemy engine you got to be, you got to, you got to be basically hugging it. You got to be able to lick the alchemy engine in order to do it. But that's made out of metal that's snowing, so that's probably a bad idea. So there we go. We now have a uh, helmet. So the next time we get attacked, that'll defend us some more. Uh, the rest of this stuff, I'm tempted to make an umbrella out of, to be honest with you. But we only have one silk, so let's go and get another one. Let's just stand by the fire a second here. In fact, that makes me think about something. One of the things that we could do here is... And I think it's probably going to be a very good idea. Should we make a pitchfork? And then we can go and dig up um, turf. And turf can be used as fuel, if I remember right. So let's, let's make ourselves a pitchfork. There we are. One of those there. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've warmed up enough. Let's move on. We'll get ourselves uh, some spider silk first if we can. Oh, let's eat something. We're going to get hungry there. There we go. And if we get one more piece of silk. Oh, good, we still have two traps. Uh, they're wearing earning out rather a lot. So let's make ourselves one more trap. And now we're down to 14. And we'll set that trap there. Ooh! Ooh! A flower. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but the snow has disappeared as well. So we are definitely uh, seeing signs of spring here, aren't we? Okay, come on. Out you come. Let's go. There's the first one. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop posing. It'll be dark soon. There we go. Come on. There we go, and there we go, brilliant, okay, so that's three of them. Let's see what we got out of those three. Oh, that one's going to break soon. And this one. Got a healing gland, not exactly what we want. And now I've got to deal with this spider. Come on. Or oh, it can just ignore me. I'm, I'm happy. Whoa! Okay, yeah, you can... Yeah. I think we'll... Ugh, yeah, um... I'll put that there. Not messing around with that. No. Right, let's get back to the camp before we freeze. No. Hmm, looking at that temperature. It's still cold. But we seem to be doing alright. Okay, so we got two spider glands and uh, some monster meat. So no silk, unfortunately. But we can carry on doing that. Let's uh, do a quick run of the traps. Get ourselves some meat. We're getting close to 
um, having all these rabbit holes close up for a season now, so we might as well make the most of it while we've got it. Uh, pop that those back. Kill the wabbit. Uh, talking to. Is it probably the name? Um, the other day and yeah, about. Uh, oh, you know get in there. There we go. Right now we've got a whole chest full of rabbits, which I'm going to need later on. Um, yeah, you know, Warner Brothers cartoons and uh, those. You know, the sort of stuff that we grew up on as kids. The absolute brilliant cartoons with Bugs Bunny and uh, oh, there we go. Now it's starting to get cold. Uh, Roadrunner. I was a massive, massive, massive Roadrunner fan as a kid. You can probably tell, to be totally honest with you. But uh, you just don't see those cartoons on anymore, which is such a shame because they were absolutely brilliant, don't you know? Right, part you there. Part you there. There we go. They'll need fertilizing. They be need be fertilized. They does. Uh, it reminds me. These are about to become rot. I don't want them to become rot. I want them to become a garland. I never remember which one that comes from. There we go. Garland. Our uh, sanity has gone down to 165. And that should slow that down. And if we wear it during the day for a bit, that will actually go up. So that's good. Um, I had some rot somewhere. Uh, I'll do that in the morning now, I think. Okay. So right, now what I'm going to do for the bit is huddle around the campfire, I'm going to make some meals, and I think I'll see you in the morning. Oh, hello, and welcome back. Day 35, we are... Oh, look at the, the, the temperature there. It's definitely warmer today, that's a good sign. So, just making up some food get rid of this cooked uh, meal food because meat rather because it's getting bad so we'll stick that in there and that monster meat there we are that cook that up and we were unlucky in our search for spider silk yesterday so we might try to get some more of that but first of all let's just have a quick look at the map I want to go down here and get myself some turf this is swamp and this is a perfect opportunity to go and get some materials. So let's take a run down there. Uh, we've got a nice... Good grief! What the hell is that? Who are you, sir? Good Lord! I was wondering when he would turn to turn up. Okay, right. Um, equip that. Now we've got his attention. Where's my armor? Right, equip the spear. And a quick log suit. Please leave my backpack alone. There's a good chap. Come on, go for the eyes! He's not hurting me that much, but he's driving me completely insane. Come on, we can do this. Perhaps not, but at least we can try. resurrection stone. Oh, that's probably a good thing. Oh, dear. Spoiled eggs. Rotten eggs. Looks like the penguins have gone. Right, let's go back and get our stuff quickly. Oh, man. 
I was wondering when he was going to turn up. Hopefully we still got a camp. There he is. Let's lead him away a little bit. Okay, let's go and get our, our equipment. I think we're going to have to fight him. We don't have much choice in the matter. So, let's get what we can. Run away a bit. Sure, poor Chester's dead. Good grief, this guy is a monster. But fortunately, he's a slow monster. Alright, run around in circles a little bit. Get some more stuff. Oh dear, that was horrible. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's a good monster. He's a good monster. Come on, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. There we go. Start to wonder if it might be a better idea to jump through a, a portal or something like that. How much have I lost? Not a huge amount, fortunately. But unfortunately, what is there is the meat, and I don't want to lose that. picked up my armor yet? No. Oh dear. Keep that. That'll give me a few extra hit points. Oh, this is all going bad fast, isn't it? Okay. Right. Picked up most things. Are you just having a grump? You're having a grump, aren't you? Okay, alright. Um Right, let's take advantage of the fact that we can pause the game. Here we go. Right. And let's see what we can do. Now we've lost the resurrection stone, unfortunately. Did we find a portal anywhere? Yes, there. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to come back and get our backpack. We're just going to jump into that portal and hide on the other side for a little bit. And hopefully the guy will leave us alone then. Uh, I think we'll pick up as much food as possible on the way through as well. But it looks very much like we are out of winter, I'm happy to say. Uh, does mean I want to get pick up as much stuff as possible before it starts to rot. Backpack! Level this meat. And we'll run back up to the base here. And risk a bit of the base to pick up as much meat as possible because we are going to need it. Charcoal. No, we don't need charcoal. Um, is he gone? Is he gone? No, there he is. Okay. I think we've earned ourselves a holiday. Blip. Oh, I 
there goes our sanity. Um, and we need a load of evil flowers. That's not good. Let's move away from that a little bit. And the sun is about to set. So, first things first. Let's put down a fire. We'll just use the campfire for now. There we go. Uh, where's my axe? Where's my axe? Where's my axe? There it is. Let's get at least one tree. Well, that was unfortunate, wasn't it? So, we got a load of stuff back. Uh, what can we live without? Let's um, drop the thermal stone for a sec. Because, quite honestly, we need these more. Okay, now. Right, let's eat those. There we go, that's got that back. Our sanity is really pushing it, but at least now we can survive the night. And it's actually, this is a good opportunity to experiment with the pitchfork. Where's the pitchfork? There, okay. Okay, and that we should be able to. There we go. Add his fuel. Brilliant. Let's cook a few of these up. That'll keep us going through the night. And that one there, I think. Marvellous. Okay, now let's have a quick look. Where are we on the map? A long way away. Okay. Now what I think we'll do is we will spend a day or two here and let what's it walk his way towards us or despawn or whatever he's planning on doing and this will give us a chance to actually get some uh, much needed materials but what do we have here okay let's, let's wear that that'll help us with the sanity situation such little as we do have. Just get some. Uh, add some fuel there. Oh, hello! Oh, there. Yeah, lost all the rabbits. Never mind. Right, get that thermal stone in there. Let's clear out some of this inventory. So, gold can go in Chester. I want the shovel. You can take that. You can take those boards. And take some of this meat. And I think we'll struggle through with what we've got. Okay, so right, that was a bit of a setback, wasn't it? Right. Okay, so the but still, let's have a look around here uh, because we've never been here before, so this is a chance to explore a little bit. We have fortunately plenty of food on us. I think we're going to get down, a, cut down a few more trees as well on the way through here. Uh, there we go. There's, there's plenty of them here. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, we've got short sticks and grass as well, so we'll grab all that on the way through too. New axe needed. I think we're going to follow this road for a bit because it's going roughly the direction I want to go. There we go. Can I make a fire? There we go. That's uh, that's uh, tonight's campfire sorted out. We know that turf will burn, so we'll use that as a, an alternative to um, too many logs, because I'm not really in a condition to start a big fight at this point, actually. What do I need to make a log suit? Okay, I need much more of everything, basically. That was not a fun fight. 
there's an evil flower. Don't need that. Fortunately, our sanity is going up. Massive swamp. Actually, let's have some of this papyrus. The ponds are thawed, which is great. That means we can get some fish fishing done, which means we can heal up. We've actually overrun by a day, I think, but I think... Ooh, well I have this. Where's my hammer? There it is. That's useful. Should look a little bit more. Yes, I thought so. There we go. We've been here before. Right. Take a quick look down there, I think. My sanity leaves much to be desired, but anyone who knows me knows that anyway. we'll make it back to base we'll have to see what is left of base and rebuild I know we've lost the crock pot and the uh, refrigerator well, we can rebuild those quite easily uh, we've got plenty of charcoal to set for, for example I'm just hoping that that thing is despawned I'll have a bit of that, thank you very much. Get some of this dry jerky. There we go. And yeah, let's get back onto the path and we'll follow that down. What path, they say? Yes, it's hard to see, isn't it? If it does get dark, we'll just chuck up another campfire for the night, I think. Grassland! So good to see. That is so good to hear. Dogs, just what we need. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to deal with the dogs in the morning. So until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Don't Starve, our scariest day so far. Thank you and good night. Well, hello and welcome back here to Don't Starve, where, as you can see, it's doggy time. Now I've made myself a grass suit and we're going to, oh great, four of them, and a fire dog as well, just what we need. Right, I don't think we're going to survive this, but let's give it a crack, shall we? Now, first of all, let's get back to the light. And then let's fight back. Oh, 
Oh great, fire, just what we need. Well, this has not gone well for us. At least we've we had to do plenty. Oh, there we go. Thirty-six days. Wow, <laughs> that went pan-shaped very fast, didn't it? Okay, right. Let's start again. Okay, so Reign of Giants and let's go for the next character in the list. The fire starter. Things are so much prettier when they burn. Immune to fire damage, has a sweet lighter, lights fires when nervous. And there we go. Okay, well look, we have gone well beyond an episode at this point. In fact, you know, I'm gonna tag in everything that we've done in the last 40 minutes or so I think we got to day 36 not bad I need to go and review that particular monster and see how to deal with it because well quite frankly I wasn't doing it the right way was I so until the next time I've been Simon Parsons this has been Don't Starve thank you and good night always oh, isn't she cute <laughs>